Okay, today we are going to look at partial correlations. And in a partial correlation, we are concerned with running a correlation, but adding one extra step, and that is to control for a third variable, um, which is also continuous. So we're, we're sticking with continuous level variables here. The partial correlation is to the correlation analysis as an ANCOVA is to an ANOVA. And in both of those situations, what we're doing is adding uh, a third variable that we're controlling for when looking at our two um, variables of interest. And just to kind of highlight this, I'll use a popular example, which is if we're looking at the relationship between ice cream sales and violence, we'll see that those two variables are highly correlated. As ice cream sales go up, so, so does gun violence. Now, one might think off the top of their head, well, that's curious. What, <laughs> what's up with that? Um, on further investigation and looking at variables outside of those two, we realize that the third variable that is affecting both of those is temperature. So in the summertime, people like to eat more ice cream and people are also outside more and getting into more trouble. So for our analysis, we are going to stick with um, the two variables. Well, all three of them, but at first, the first two variables we looked at were how many, tri excuse me, the first two variables we looked at were our highest education level attained and our age. And this time we're going to take that third variable that we looked at and we're going to control for that. And the reason we want to do that is we're thinking the, the thought behind that is perhaps people that are older are not able to have the as high or they don't get as much education as the younger people folks do because folks of the older generation have more kids and they have less time to go to school. So um, let's go ahead and see what we get when we uh, run that analysis. So we're going to go down to correlate and this time we're going to select partial and I already have my variables in here so you're going to want to put in your two primary um, variables of interest here you can put more that's possible um, and we're going to throw in our third variable that we're controlling for down in the bottom that's how many children do you have and again you could throw in more variables to control for if you'd like and we're going to go to options. Again, very few options. We're going to keep means and standard deviation selected. And you should also select this one down here, zero order correlations. And what that's going to do is going to give you um, a standard correlation table between the three variables, just like we um, did in the last video. And that's going to make it very easy to compare the correlations before and after controlling for the third variable. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And we're looking at virtually the same data that we did last time with our descriptives here. And the top part of this correlation table is the same thing that we were looking at before. And we can see that highest education level attained, again, has a negative relationship with age at the negative 0.203 level. The older people are, the less likely they are to have a high level of education. Now here's our data of interest are in these bottom two rows down here. And now we're controlling, uh, we can see in the left hand column, we can see that the variable we are controlling for is how many children do you have? And once we run that analysis, we have now weakened our relationship between highest education level attained and age. And now it's we, we were between a small and medium sized uh, relationship up here. But down here, once we um, plug in that third variable, we're down to a negative 0 0.061 uh, R value. And so that's still significant. Um, we had a lot of uh, participants, 14,000 participants, and so there still is a relationship. So that means that 
even if we uh, control for the, regardless of how many children folks have, older people are still less likely to have as much education as people that are young. However, it also is telling us that um, people of an old, older generation have more kids and folks that have more kids have less time to go to school and less time to go and get a degree because they have mouths to feed. 